A typical Victorian street comes to life in a scene you'd only expect to find on a film studio floor. Are these characters really out of the pages of Dickens waiting to play their parts? It seems so. An authentic chemist shop from the last century, perfectly in period. We've rolled back the decades to see the apothecary's primitive pill-making machine, just as it was. The very latest thing. Perhaps you can't quite swallow the illusion. So consider another newfangled contraption. In its day, a dangerous philosophy, more than a world away from our jet age, where time is ticked off in valuable seconds. But let's go and see where we are. It isn't a film set, but a living museum at Kirkstall Abbey, Leeds. Here, the past has been more than recreated, it never died. Everything is as it was a hundred years ago. Where else would someone be perfectly at ease on one of the very first tricycles? Or winding away at a barrel organ? Every detail must satisfy the most critical time traveller. Shop signs are not replicas, but the real thing. And as you look up, remember the paving stones you stand on lay under great-grandfather's feet. Let's see what was on sale in the ironmonger's shop, the latest household gadgets from the 1860s. Just the thing to liven up a wash day morning. Oh, here's one of the first vacuum cleaners. Not quite made to glide around the furniture. But even in 1880, labor-saving devices were well on their way. Here's the new portable model, which keeps you fit as you manipulate the suction bellows by hand. A charcoal-heated smoothing iron to keep those yards of crinoline in trim. And this medieval-looking instrument of torture is another 19th-century household essential, a crimping iron. You heat up the rollers with a red-hot poker and press your ribbons and pleats as you please. In the funeral parlour showcase, they have some original coffin adornments. And for the nails, you go to the tack maker, working here the last machine of its kind which was in commercial use. It's a slow, laborious way to knock out a living, one at a time, on the guillotine. Victorians loved their music. Here there's a rare gathering of early gramophones, player piano rolls and song sheets. The songs live on, but the bird in a gilded cage is preserved in another popular Victorian ornament you might find in any old-fashioned parlour, like this one that has survived ten decades. An imaginative museum is not a place of dead objects, but a lively tableau reflecting the unhurried world of long ago. A model...